Wheels up and welcome to the quarterfinals of this year's Champions League. A time in this tournament where Manchester City usually goes. I kid. Kind of. It's City and Atletico Madrid in the first leg from the Etihad on Tuesday, where a home win plays at minus 265 for City, plus 725. Wow! In a way, win there. A plus 380 for the first leg draw. The over under set at 2 and a half, 3, minus 105 for the over, minus 115 for the under. I like the spread. I like Atletico Madrid, plus one, plus one and a half, at plus 102. Look, City are a wonderful side. They're great. But there are five reasons where I have a little bit of doubt about how they'll perform ahead of this one. First of all, it's a look-ahead spot for Manchester City. They play Liverpool on Sunday. Currently, City sit one point better than Liverpool in the Premier League table. This could be the game that goes on to decide the Premier League tough time in terms of the scheduling for this one. Two, last year's Champions League competition was weird. It was behind closed doors. City made it all the way to the final. But in the three years before that, in the quarterfinal stage, City had been knocked out of this competition. And why? Because three, Pep Guardiola overthinks things. That is not a good thing when you're going up against a manager like Diego Simeone, where his teams play wonderful football off the ball, limiting space, taking away the strength of their opponent. They can go off and kill games as well, just in terms of time wasting the dark arts. You know, all those things that Simeone sides typically do. It's not always pretty, but it's effective. Will Pep overthink things this time around like he did in 2016 when his Bayern Munich side beat, er, met Simeone's Atletico Madrid side and Simeone kicked Pep out of this competition? <laughs> Funny how these things happen. It could happen again. And why might Pep overthink things once again? Because of four, he has selection issues at the back. Ruben Diaz, his top center back, out with a hamstring injury. John Stones, left England cap. He's dealing with an issue. What kind of role can he play? Right back, Kyle Walker, suspended. Atletico Madrid has some very talented players in attack that can make Pitt City pay, especially with a makeshift back line. And five... The away goals rule has been taken out of this competition. It's completely changed things. In the last match day of the previous round of this competition, five of the eight away sides went on to win the game outright, even in the first leg. Never mind the second leg, four away sides won and two away sides drew at that level of the competition. Atletico Madrid have won three of their four away games in the Champions League. They beat Porto, a good side. They went away and beat AC Milan, a good side. They went to Old Trafford and came away with a 1-0 draw as well. And this is an Atleti side, let's be honest. Struggled at the start of the season. Now they've won six straight or undefeated in eight in all competitions. A lot of things coming together here. But those are my reasons. I like Atletico Madrid plus one, plus one and a half with the spread on Tuesday.